We now welcome Dr. Gary Henry back for a progress report on our evaluation grant on turning around low performing schools. But before Dr. Henry speaks, I ask Dr. Nancy Barber to spend a few minutes providing context about the work of the district and school <coughs> transformation program. Dr. Barber. Thank you, Chairman Covey. I don't want to break this thing. Um, when I was talking with Martez earlier in the week and thinking about this opportunity, I can't help but get excited. So I'm going to try not to talk too loud. But what I want to do is establish sort of a context for moving forward with NCT. And I'm trying not to use um, acronyms, so I'm going to tell you what that means. And sort of explain where we've been, where we are now, and where we're going. And so it's really an exciting time for us. And to follow communities and schools and know that the relationship and partnership that we're working on with them is such a critical component. And being able to talk to you today about the progress within North Carolina transformation, which is what NCT stands for, it's I'm really delighted to be here. So. Um, I want to set a context first of all about the statewide system of support and explain to you how we are a um, an additional or intensive support mechanism from that statewide system of support and I wrote and basically took this from the information about the service support teams that provides a structure for the statewide system of support and there are four teams that are um, work under the regional or prosperity zones of the state board by combining two and so it's basically I call it a quartile it cuts the state into four parts and they provide services and support from a big picture perspective to schools that district and school transformation cannot serve. And so when you think of that as a bird's eye view, then you can kind of hone into what does district and school transformation do? And that's sort of what the bottom part of this slide tries to explain because we are that part of the agency that is really concentrated on those lowest highest need schools and that's what the picture to the right shows is that we are that intense support where we're trying to work alongside provide coaching and support for schools as to the point that our resources will allow and so when you think about moving from what did we look like and do under race to the top you know it as talus turning around low achieving schools the way we approach this is we learned a lot from all of our evaluations and the work that we did in talus and we have upped our game so our new model north carolina transformation is where you'll see NCT. Now you see some similarities because a lot of the things that we were doing worked and so we want to continue those things but in upping our game we wanted to add some components and I want to highlight a couple of those because they are in pink and on the uh, right hand side under NCT model and one of those is this whole conversation around data you're going to hear from uh, Dr. Henry and if you um, read the grant you're going to hear words like a deep data dive and one of the things that we're doing is trying to help schools understand that all our data and that we need to think about everything that it's not just numbers it's not just letters but everything that happens in the environment of a child is da our data and so building that way of thinking is helping will help us look at some of those causals or those factors that may result in positive outcomes for kids or may be hindering kids from being everything they can be and that's one of the things we're working on with our CIS partnership is beginning to look at some of those other factors um, in addition with our comprehensive needs assessment we found that doing an unpacking of that assessment 
is really important because they get a beautiful report after the comprehensive needs assessment and sometimes it's like this is great now what do we do so we wanted to answer that question with now what do we do and then connect that with school improvement planning so it's tightening up and adding to and going a little bit deeper in some of the things that we know worked in the schools we worked in earlier so we have some expectations for ourselves as well as um, through this partnership and I just wanted to share those with you as well um, and they're highlighted here it only captures four of them but we really do want to be in a continuous improvement model we want to always be focused on improving our game so that we can help schools improve their game and so within that model you see sort of four things that I've touched on briefly that we're setting as a goal or an outcome for us but one of the most exciting things to me is that we are going to give we're going to receive specific real-time feedback as we're doing it you know sometimes when you don't get the data right away you don't know what's working and what's not and one of the things in this partnership we're going to be able to have is data almost at a moment's notice now I haven't told Gary that yet but he <laughs> he's assured me that this continuous specific feedback will help us in terms of managing and executing our program which will in turn help schools so we're delighted to be involved in this opportunity and it's my pleasure to turn it over to Dr. Gary Henry to talk to you a little specific a little bit more specifically about NCT.